In this unit, we are going to learn the key elements of multimedia and how to apply these elements for specific learning objectives. This unit will outline the contribution of each multimedia element to the overall effectiveness of multimedia content in teaching English and social studies. By focusing on key elements of multimedia, English and social studies teachers can create an environment that engages and motivates learners for better learning outcomes. In this unit, participants will be able to explain the key elements of multimedia in teaching English and social studies and select appropriate multimedia element for specific learning objectives. In multimedia context, various media elements are integrated seamlessly, enabling users to interact with and navigate through the content. For example, teaching a concept in English or social studies, teachers can use multimedia presentation that may include text to convey ideas, images or graphics to illustrate concepts and skills, audio or music to enhance the mood, and videos or animations to provide dynamic visuals. The five main elements of multimedia are text, graphics, video, audio and animations. They are further characterized into static and dynamic. The static include text and graphic and the dynamic is made up of video, audio and animations. Text Text is the basic element of multimedia. It involves the use of text types, sizes, colors and background colors. In multimedia, text is mostly used for titles, headlines, menu, paragraph, list and so on. In a multimedia application, other media or screen can be linked through the use of text. This is what you call hypertext. The most commonly used software for viewing text files are Microsoft Word, Notepad, WordPad and so on. Mostly, the text files are formatted with DOC, TXT and so on extensions. Graphics It is a digital representation of non-text information such as a drawing, chart or photograph. Graphics make the multimedia application attractive. They help to illustrate ideas through still pictures. There are two types of graphics used. Bitmaps, paint graphics and vectors, draw graphics. Bitmaps graphics are called raster graphics. A bitmap represents the image as an array of dots called pixels. Bitmap graphics are resolution dependent and generate large file sizes. Vector graphics are images drawn on the computer with software that uses geometrical formulas to represent images and only require a small amount of memory. Video Video is the technology of electronically capturing, recording, processing, storing, transmitting and reconstructing a sequence of still images representing scenes in motion. They are moving images that are used to demonstrate concepts, ideas, skills, processes, tell stories or show product. They can include animations, recorded footage or a combination of both. Videos are effective in conveying complex ideas and capturing audience attention. Audio Audio, in the context of multimedia, refers to the files and devices associated with the recording, processing, storing, delivery of audible sounds, voice, music, noise, etc., which can be stored as audio files in multiple formats, WAV, MP3, AIFF, etc., 
and can be delivered through speakers or headphones. They are used to enhance the multimedia experience and provide narration, add background music, or create sound effects to enhance the multimedia experience. Audio can greatly enhance the emotional impact of multimedia content. Audio elements also engage the audience's sense of hearing. Animation refers to the technique involving the rapid display of a sequence of progressive static images, usually at 24 frames per second, to produce the illusion of motion. In the context of multimedia, it refers to the technique, skills and equipment used to bring an idea, story or image to life. The integration of visual and sound element in teaching English and social studies will facilitate the learning process. It engages students better in the materials being taught. Students may use their past knowledge and the vocabulary used in the book in conjunction with multimedia learning aids to understand the content better. It is therefore paramount for teachers to understand the appropriate multimedia elements in order to achieve specific learning objectives in teaching. Selecting appropriate multimedia elements for specific learning objectives. Selecting media and technologies is a complex process involving a wide range of interacting variables. The section model is a framework that can help teachers make effective decisions about the selection and use of multimedia for teaching and learning a particular concept in either English and social studies. It stands for students, ease of use, cost, teaching functions, integration, organizational issues, networking, security and privacy. The multimedia elements should be appropriate for the age, grade level and learning style of the students. For example, if the teacher is dealing with basic learners, it is important to consider including attractive, interesting and engaging elements like animations, beautiful melodies, colorful graphics that retain the attention of the learners. Learners tend to remember multimedia presentations better than purely textual information. Ease of use The multimedia elements should be easy to use and navigate. It should also be cost-effective and affordable for all categories and within the budget. Teaching functions The multimedia elements should align with the learning objectives and enhance the teaching functions. Interaction The multimedia elements should promote interaction and engagement among students. Organizational issues The multimedia elements should be organized in a logical and coherent manner. Networking the multimedia elements should be compatible with network infrastructure. Security and privacy. The multimedia elements should adhere to security and privacy policies. Furthermore, you can consider the following when selecting appropriate multimedia elements for specific learning objectives in teaching of English and social studies. Consider the scope and coverage of the topic. Determine what learners will read, explore, view, hear, experience, or create. Ensure that materials and media support and align with the stated learning objectives. For example, in an English lesson, if the lesson objective is for the learners to be able to properly identify and pronounce the English consonant and vowel sounds, Selecting the element that will enable the learners be able to properly understand the proper manner of articulation of each sound will require an element that will assist the teacher in pronouncing the words. The teacher here can integrate audio and visual elements to help achieve the learning outcome. Another example can be seen in a social studies lesson. When teaching curriculum topics like culture and diversity, Learners may be left with mere imaginations of how people in particular cultures look like, their mode of dressing, the language they speak, their belief system and values. 
Effectively achieving this objective will require proper integration of various multimedia elements that will give the learner real-life experience or simulation of the particular culture or group of people. We have come to the end of this video. It is hoped that you will actively participate in the discussion forums and reflect on all the assignment of the week. Thank you.